Okay, let's talk first about my new office setup, okay? Um, I have, and this is going to kind of go along with a new vlog that's coming up later, which I'll get to. Um, I've got a new uh, office now. Uh, not that I, well, it's the same studio I've had that you see in my professionally, you know, YouTube video things. Um, but this one is, and I see that I have one viewer. I'm not sure if that's me or not. Um, if you're there, hopefully you are. If you're there, um, awesome. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully uh, you are. So you can chat if you want to. Let me know if you're there or not, whatever. But anyway, we're going to talk about the new office setup, okay? So I'm going to turn that. Um, like this is, like I said, this is a new experience for me. I'm going to go ahead and turn the the uh, intro thing there off, the lower third, so that we can talk now. You don't have to. The view of the awesome guitar one to be blocked. So whoever the viewer is, thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Um, we'll go back to comments in case you decide to chat. Um, but anyway, the new office, I've got the same studio and everything, but um, and this the office tour will be happening on a different blog, uh, vlog. I'm not going to sit here and disconnect the camera from the computer, move it around and show you everything. But um, that will be coming up soon. It may already be out now. I don't know. Like I said, this is going to be chunked into different videos. Hopefully I can get the corresponding videos out before um, the actual event takes place, <laughs> like the, the desk vlog and all this. But anyway, my wife, for Christmas, uh, my wife, one of the things for Christmas that I got was this huge, I'm talking huge desk. And one thing I can do is show you a picture of it. Um, I've got the manual here. And this came from Bush Furniture. We actually bought it from Essex, which is also called Bargain Hunt Stores or something like that. Let me tell you something. If you get something from there that needs to be assembled, make sure you get all the parts because we ended up having uh, box one of two, and two was nowhere to be found. And they didn't, you know, they didn't pay for box two. They just sold it like it was. And said, when I called them, they said, you know, well, that's just the way things happen. And I'm like, you really sell something that's not even functional until you get the other parts as well? This was going to be half of an L that wouldn't even stand up on its own, not functional whatsoever. So we had to call the, the furniture factory and pay an extra $140 or something to get the other part, which was ridiculous. Yes, this was a $400 desk, but we got it, like, for 150 but it's not working unless you get the rest of the parts, so that's that's ridiculous. So anyway, this is what the uh, uh, looks like. I, can't, I don't know, you can't really see. There we go. It looks like a big, huge L-shaped desk. Right now, uh, this let me find it here. This big drawer is over here. These two smaller drawers are over here. So the L is right here in the corner. Okay, and as you can see, it has a ton of parts to it. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is, uh, I think it's called a summer set or something. It doesn't say here. Um, summer collection or S-O-M-E-R something. I don't remember. But it's huge, and it's got all these different parts. And I'm telling you what, we took and messed with that thing and, and had to do all the screwing. It's very well constructed in the sense that, you know, everything was tight. But the thing is, I had to go pre-drill some holes, okay, because the screws were getting so intense. And I'm serious. There was like he was trying to screw a wood screw into cement. It was hard to do. So I had to use a 7 16 uh, drill hole for the smaller screws and try to pre-drill that stuff so that I could even get in there. After working on that thing for two days and four hours total or something like that, my hand was gone. I mean, I'm telling you, my hand, I could play guitar hardly with my hands numbing up, and I have carpal tunnel anyway. So, anyway, the new office setup is, is awesome. I've just got to describe it. It'll be out, like I said, on the vlog later, but I'll go ahead and describe it. And right now, uh, right directly in front of me is the outdoor window, which is where the light's coming from, if you can see it. There's another light that I've got clipped up here on the ceiling. Um, and I've got this, by the way, I've got this enhanced mode on... Uh, it's enhanced mode on Google. If I turn the enhance off and go to original, that's what it looks like. Go back to enhanced. That's original. 
enhanced. Original, enhanced. Enhanced looks way better. It's more clear. The colors are better. But anyway, right in front of me, I have, if you're familiar uh, with the studio, if you've seen the studio before on, on some of these other videos, right in front of me, I've got the, uh, this is the spare bedroom, one of them, the bedroom window. Uh, for an awesome view right now, it is snow covered. We've had uh, like two inches of snow here in Tennessee uh, for the past few days. And it stopped snowing, but it hasn't really melted. Over here to my right is the corner of the studio, and that's where the huge background, the sheet, the big blue sheet is that I use for my uh, YouTube uh, videos for the professional looking ones and for my product videos as well. Uh, and over there I have in the floor and directly in front of that is the pedal board, which I don't have a pedal board. I just got pedals on the floor. And I'm thinking about doing an experiment. I'm thinking about doing... Yeah, that was my that's my wife. Let me tell her I'm in the middle of a recording session. <clears throat> and while I'm at it, go ahead and turn this thing on vibrate so that I won't get interrupted anymore. Okay. So um, the pedal board, I'm doing an experiment right now with some of my future videos on YouTube. Since I haven't really done the review of the MXR Prime Distortion pedal, I've only done like a demo, and I said I'd try to do a review. I'm just going to kind of do some videos just with the effects on the crate amplifier that I have, the old crate GFX15, with uh, the, the pedals, the Prime Distortion pedal and the uh, Dunlop Crybaby 535Q and the Ibanez Tube Screamer, the TS9, and, and leave the Digitech pedal over here at my desk so that I can do some other recordings and things like that. So that's what I'm doing right now is just... I haven't done any videos with that yet, but I've, I thought I'm just going to make myself try to use as few effects as possible and get some good tone and, and see what I can come up with there just to use that setup over there. But anyway, the new office setup, and, and like I said, I don't want to ramble. This is, I can tell it's going to go over a little bit. But anyway, the new office setup is, here's the first part of the AL. The other AL is right here to my side. And you'll see this on the vlog later on, so that's why I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. And I'll kind of show you as what my setup is. But my printer is over here. In front of me is the main monitor that I'm looking at. Beside me is the AOC 19-inch monitor. Mac Mini is right here in the middle. I've got a fan over here. And I almost always keep it on because I'm always hot. And I've got some miscellaneous books over here, some little drawers to keep little trinkets in. The two drawers are here. The big drawer is here, which is I use to keep my briefcase. And um, some snacks like candy and raisins, my favorite candy. And then immediately over here to my left, it, always accessible. In this day of technology where you have to have something digital all the time, I've got a good old-fashioned King James Bible. All right, So that's an immediate access so that I don't have to go online and pull up things. Sometimes, you know, they have e-books and everything. But I'm telling you, books are never going to go out of style because it's so awesome to be able to pick up a book, not have to navigate through, you know, technology. Just pick it up and guess what? You don't have to worry about it crashing. You don't have to worry about a good old-fashioned book like one of these books that I told you about to check out, The Power of Focus. Some of the books that I own that you need to read, this is one of them. Uh, for 2014, Jeff, definitely check this book out. It's a good old-fashioned thing. You don't have to worry about it crashing. You can open it, turn to any page, make highlights, make notes, get you a pencil, you know, highlight the, the biggest chapters that you like, put little stars by them like I do. You know, I've got little pencil in stars everywhere next to the chapters and the key points so that I don't have to read the whole book again. If I need it in a, in a flash, I can just pick up the book and go. So that's my office setup, okay? That's the new office um, setup here. Um, and you'll see that later, like I said, on the vlog, on the actual vlog. 